In our case, the goal wasn't so much to save time as to allow us to interact more with the students. So in the previous incarnation of our course where we had a large lecture, most of the time spent where the students and the teachers were in the same room, there would be the teacher talking, explaining some technique to the students. But what we wanted to do is we wanted to make this more active. In my lectures in this course, I had noticed that if you introduce some activities, if you said, here's a problem, I'll solve an example, and then now you solve one, if we introduced these, the students were much more interested in the learning activities. And so what we wanted to do was we wanted to bring more of that active style of learning into the teaching environment, into the classroom, so that the students could really get the benefit of interacting with someone who, who understood the techniques at a really deep level. So for us, this wasn't about saving time. And in fact, we took these large lectures to three or 400 students, and we wanted to break them up into much smaller classes of, say, 30, 35 students, and give them a lot of individual attention. So in this case, it wasn't about saving time. It was about improving the teaching experience and really getting the students to involve themselves and engage with the material. Our main hope for the class time was to increase interaction between students and the teaching staff and also uh, between the students themselves with each other. So the activities we designed were done with that in mind. So our plan was the, the class would start with the tutor giving a recap of the material that students had seen in the videos, just a, a brief recap to get their minds in gear. And then we'd move on to an example done at the board, the idea being that uh, the students would contribute some of the steps in the working and it would increase sort of discussion between the, the tutoring staff and the students. And then we'd move on to problems for the students to work on, uh, which would involve hopefully small discussions amongst the students working in groups of two, three or four. And the plan was that we design questions that would be harder than the standard questions that students would be expected to do on their own. And this way we'd encourage them to talk to each other, um, bring up interesting points, uh, rather than just working in isolation.